Well, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to, to Manchester, welcome to the University. And can I straight away apologise for the rain? We did do our best, but we couldn't quite hold it off today. So welcome to this graduation ceremony. And I would particularly like to welcome the family and friends of today's graduates. I know that many of you have travelled long distances to be here today. We welcome you to the university and we thank you. We thank you for all the help, the moral support, the emotional support, and I'm sure the financial support that you will have given to the graduates during their time here. They are very grateful to you and we are very grateful to you. Thank you. So here we are in the Whitworth Hall and students have been graduating in this Whitworth Hall for over a hundred years. So those of you who graduate today are following in the footsteps of thousands of former graduates from this university who've gone on to achieve and contribute in every walk of life. Former students from Manchester University have reached the highest levels in science, in the arts, in business, and in politics. Just to give you a sense of scale, on the database of the alumni of the University of Manchester, we now have about 260,000 people around the world still alive, still in touch with us, who've graduated from this university. But things have changed quite a lot over those 100 or more years that students have been walking up these steps that you will walk up in a moment. Today, to receive a university degree is increasingly common. When I came to university in the 1960s, only about 7% of 18-year-olds went to university in this country. Today, I forget the exact figure, but it's, it's 45% or something of that sort. This is a very good thing. It's a vital part of today's society in which knowledge and the capacity to keep on acquiring knowledge is an indispensable skill. Without that skill, you cannot continue to earn a living. We live in a very fast-moving world. Internet commerce, companies which are global and extremely mobile, people who are extremely mobile. Your generation and the generation which follows you increasingly expect that higher education is something they carry out not in one country, but in several countries during the course of their careers. And we all depend on the knowledgeable professionals and the experts like yourselves who are quite simply the engine of progress and the engine of today's knowledge economy. It's clear that today, in this society and in many others, we are struggling to decide how much of the cost of training graduates like yourselves should come from the public purse and how much should come from you yourselves, the graduates, once you start to work. It's still not clear exactly how we'll resolve this problem, but resolve it we must, because we can't do without you. We can't do without graduates, and it would be entirely wrong for society to make a very big mistake in the way that it grapples with this problem. But enough of the politics. Let me turn again to today's graduates, because you are the stars of the show today. The disciplines that you have studied for your degrees electrical engineering and mathematics have transformed society in the last 150 years. Mathematics is quite simply the language in which the physical world is written. I think I stole that quote from somebody, but I quite, can't quite remember who. I did Google it before I came over here today. Couldn't quite remember who wrote it, and I've probably got it wrong, but it's certainly true. You can see mathematics everywhere, not just in the physical world, but also in human cultural activity, in mathematics, in economics, in just about everything. Electrical engineering, electrical power and electronics have been quite simply transformational in their effect on our lives from the beginning of the 20th century onwards. And they continue to be so now. My father, who was born in 1908, uh, did not have electricity in his house, had never seen an electric motor, Within the space of his working life, he was building them. And now, if he were still alive, he could not conceive of the things that we do with electricity now and electronics. So in the space of a few generations, we have quite simply transformed the potential of society through the physics, 
and the engineering and the material science which contribute to the world in which you, electrical engineers, will work. And indeed the staff on this platform, some of whom have taught you, I'm sure, many of them are now contributing to the next radical chapters in your disciplines. Some of them are working closely with our two most recent Nobel Prize winners from the School of Physics, Andre Geim and Kostyanov Oshelov, who discovered the new material graphene, which could be a major transformation in the world of electronics because of its amazing properties, uh, which go way beyond any other electronic material we have yet discovered. Some of you graduating today have gone beyond undergraduate study and have carried out research to gain master's or doctoral degrees. And this takes you even closer to the leading edge of change. But all of you, at whatever degree level you have studied, have taken on the challenge of mastering and using extremely complex ideas, which have been built up by researchers who have gone before you. You should feel very proud of those achievements, and you should relish taking them further. And we, in turn, feel very proud of you as Manchester graduates. And we know that you will use your knowledge and your skills to do good work in whatever field you enter. I'm sure that in your time here, you will have learned some other things beyond the complexities of mathematics and electronic and electrical engineering. Yes, universities do create and transmit knowledge. But in order to do this, we have evolved universities over the centuries as places of debate and freedom of opinion. And those values of debate and openness to ideas are ones which I hope you have seen as essential to your work in science. That these values of openness have a wider benefit to the way we interact with each other in everyday life. And I hope you will nurture them and take them forward not only into your professional lives, but into all aspects of your lives. For each generation, life gets more complex, although I guess historians may disagree with me about that. And you need more and more mental flexibility and cultural flexibility to cope with that complexity. Some things, of course, remain roughly the same, and I'm sure those, for those of you who have this experience, when you hold your first child, the way you feel when you look at it will be very similar to the way your parents felt when they looked at you. A strange kind of mixture of joy and terror. So as you graduate today, your hard work is rewarded. Your achievement in completing your degree cannot be underestimated. And you and your families and friends should feel justly proud of your accomplishment. In your own way, each and every one of you has enriched the university while you've been here, and we thank you for that. Now, as I said at the beginning of these remarks, your families and friends have played a vital role in supporting you emotionally and financially during your studies. And soon they'll be giving you a lot of applause. So I think it's only fair that we reciprocate. So I'd like all the graduates to stand for a moment, please. Stand up. And turn and face the audience, or wherever your families are, if they're at the back or at the front, and give them a round of applause. <laughs> OK, thank you. You can sit down again. So now to conclude, you are going to leave the university now. You're going to leave the University of Manchester with that name on your CV, a brand which I hope you will find valuable throughout your careers, a brand which I think is going to move from strength to strength as this university continues its journey towards being not only one of the best universities in the UK or in Europe, but indeed in the world. So I congratulate the graduates on their achievements, I congratulate the families again for the support which they have contributed. The University of Manchester wishes you every success in your future careers, and now we'll proceed to award the degrees.
Deputy Vice-Chancellor, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Engineering, Frank Bryan. and for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Fayez Aurifai. <laughs> Brian Azopardi. <laughs> Jan Yi Chan. Rini Ka Yin Chin. <laughs> Bashir Dikduk. <laughs> Juan Tain Duan. Fang He. <laughs> Daniel James. <laughs> Ali Milad Jarushi. <laughs> Jai Ping Lu. Liam Aubrey Marsh. <laughs> Zareen McBoop. <laughs> Guy Newman. <laughs> Daniel Robert Nuttall. Oliver James Pooley. <laughs> Xiaofang Ki. <laughs> Tayao Nayagi Ramasi. <laughs> Leith Rashid. Dominic Richards. <laughs> Rebecca Louise Robinson. <laughs> Zach Wan Scaff. <laughs> Zhu Yu Song. Jimmy Pang Hao Tan. <laughs> Stephen John Woolihan. <laughs> Yun Yi Wang. <laughs> Li Zhang. Jin Zhang. <laughs> and for the degree of Master of Philosophy, Electrical and Electronic Engineering, Moshi Chem Kin. <laughs> and for the degree of Master of Science, Advanced Control and Systems Engineering, Shah Mohammed Anik Ali Khan. And for the degree of Master of Engineering, Computer Systems Engineering with honours, Steve Akun. <laughs> 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 
and in electrical and electronic engineering with industrial experience with honours, Mohammed Imran Khan. And in electrical and electronic engineering with honours, Errol Thomas Jr. Habel Yu. Rory James Christopher Elston. Panagiotis Christodoulou. Georgios Christodoulou. Dimitris Antoniou. Martin Bamford. Peter Francis Killeen. Assad Ali. James Patrick Jives. Hussein Shabir Nasser. <laughs> Michalis Paturis. <laughs> Robert Batterham. <laughs> Nicholas Elia Manitara. James David Collett. Wee <laughs> Jin Tan. And in, and in electronic systems engineering with industrial experience with honors, Omar Ahmed Abdel Rahim. and in Electronic Systems Engineering with honours, Edwin Apau. <laughs> Edward William Burroughs. <laughs> Matthew Reed. <laughs> and in Mechatronic Engineering with honours, Toby Hegarty. Syed Assad Ahmed Jaffrey. <laughs> Andres Izajev. <laughs> Sean Joseph Cornelius Gannon. <laughs> and in mechatronic engineering with industrial experience with honors, Adil Mimon. And for the degree of Bachelor of Engineering, Electrical and Electronic Engineering with honours, Yang Zhang. <laughs> Ka Lung Lung Li. <laughs> Vishnu Dharam Asiharan. <laughs> Asad Gafar. Jaelun Zhang. <laughs> Fan Deng. <laughs> Oritsi Bawo, Oritsi Jaffer. <laughs> Neil Bennett. Sumaya Maud Salahuddin.
Fayek Eskander. Abdi Wahid Alasau. <laughs> Lee Shen. <laughs> Yi Sheng Ju. <laughs> Ting Yan Gu. Amrita Rungta. <laughs> Samar Al Husseini. <laughs> Fei Lin. <laughs> Wu Lu. Mohammed Ahsan Naim. <laughs> Shulong Chan. <laughs> Lu Ying Zhang. <laughs> Wen Wang Wang. Yang Yang. <laughs> Zhao Long Hu. <laughs> Xu Yi Li. <laughs> Amar Iqbal Hafiz. Hussam Al Katuni, <laughs> Yiren Wang, <laughs> Bugra Gazioglu, <laughs> Ji Heng Wu. Finn Johnson. <laughs> Berihu Mebratum. <laughs> Shada Adel Ali Al Najjar. <laughs> Mohammed Meraj Marzuk Alam. Aksha Kedia. <laughs> Zhao Chen Wang. <laughs> Yun Li. <laughs> Rohit Parat. <laughs> Zhang Wei Kui Chu. Chuan Wang. <laughs> Ahmed Abdul Musin M. A. Al Ali. <laughs> Mohammed Imran Masood. <laughs> and in electrical and electronic engineering with industrial experience with honors. Vishfra Salonga Arache Salonga Arache Chigi. <laughs> Umulara Odufuwa. <laughs> and in electronic systems engineering with honors, Siswe Leandro de Cheta Martins. Nawaf 
au Shatri. Satyajit Das. <laughs> Mechna Catalin Maftai. <laughs> Harun Raiz Ansari. <laughs> Zhao Chuan He. Siong Hayun Park. <laughs> Philip Kinder. <laughs> and in mechatronic engineering with honours, Michalis Tiakas. <laughs> Mohsin Iqbal. Paul Robert Taylor. <laughs> Syed Akil Sajjad. <laughs> Ershad Ahmed Yakubi. <laughs> and in communication systems engineering with honors, Kun Ju. <laughs> Chi Wei Ho. <laughs> Hong Yai Jiang. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Abdul Aziz Al Humadi. <laughs> Allah Humad Al Atta Baiti. <laughs> Alistair Everett. Richard Harland. <laughs> Chao Huang. <laughs> Li Jing Ling. <laughs> Honeda Mal Aik Ha. Christopher Munro, <laughs> Garo Princher, <laughs> Therese Shepherd, <laughs> David Zoltan. William Thompson, <laughs> Nicola Lisa Wadeson, <laughs> Dong Wei Wang, <laughs> and for the degree of Master of Science Pure Mathematics, Kafu Vivian Lee. Nada Abdullah Al Habib, <laughs> and 
for the degree of Master of Mathematics in Mathematics with honours, Rowan Alex Willis. <laughs> Joseph Lee Maestri. <laughs> Liam Patrick Joseph Hastings. Richard Marco Sullivan, <laughs> Peter James Johnson, <laughs> Stephen Mitchell, <laughs> Helen Burns. Sam Joseph Thomas, <laughs> David Matthew Carellan, <laughs> Ojan Baraldan Rohani, <laughs> Robert Giles. Christopher Edelson, <laughs> Francis Morris Watson, <laughs> Gregory Andrew Astley, <laughs> Philip Pierce. Kathleen Rose Hill, <laughs> David Billington, <laughs> Kieran Casterton, <laughs> Paul Hamilton. Kalpesh uh, Bagwanji Mr. <laughs> Thomas Tom James Harrison <laughs> James Edward Horden <laughs> Robin Nathaniel Allen Hannah Lennon, <laughs> Maria Anastasia Thorpe, <laughs> Kate Fothergill, <laughs> Paul Stankiewicz. Joseph Adam Giddings, <laughs> Laura Rose Phillips, <laughs> David Grant, <laughs> Daniel Kramer. Francis Timothy McGill, <laughs> Simon James McCarthy, <laughs> Jamie Hayes, <laughs> James J. Mumbo Hawa. Joanne Mystery, <laughs> David Charles Ward, who is also awarded the Outstanding Achievement uh, Award. <laughs> Ed
Elga Christian Hutchinson, <laughs> and in mathematics, statistics, and operational research with honours, Simon James Walsh. Nicholas Alexandra Little. <laughs> um Sarah Sabine Leonid. <laughs> and in mathematics with financial mathematics with honours, Eunice Du Ulo Watosin Ulo Wasatin. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Mathematics with honours, Mohamed Baul. <laughs> AJ Patel. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Laws with honours, Elizabeth Stephanie Lovell. And for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Mathematics and Financial Mathematics, with honours, Yang Wang. So today we have celebrated the award of your degrees. Many congratulations. On behalf of the University of Manchester, I extend to each of you our very best wishes for the future. And I now declare this ceremony closed. Thank you. Thank you.